Uh, good morning. Uh, this is a call meeting for the Del Mar College uh, District, and it is 9.02 a.m. Uh, Thursday, August 10th, uh, here at the Center for Economic Development. Um, we'll currently take a roll call. Uh, Dr. Babley? Here. Uh, Mr. Garza? Here. Libby Abritt? Here. Carl Kroll? Here. And myself, we have a quorum. Dr. Nicodame, we have a quorum. Um, let us uh, now uh, bow our heads for a moment of silence. Let us now stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Libby, would you lead us on the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, we will read the Del Mar vision uh, statement together. Del Mar College will be the premier choice for life-changing educational opportunities by, by responsive, innovative faculty and staff who empower students to improve local and global communities. Del Mar College is streaming live, uh, live audio and video from the uh, official Board of Regents meeting on the college website in real time, with the exception of portions of the meeting considered as closed session by statutes. I apologize for my tardiness. Um, so we do have an opportunity for public comment. Is there anyone to provide uh, general public comment before the board? Seeing none, um, the board will enter into closed session under Texas Government Code 551.071 uh, regarding pending or contemplated litigation, and the time is 9.04 a.m. The board has returned from closed session at 9.46 a.m. Uh, we don't have any action today, but I am going to um, ask uh, Dr. Escamilla to, uh, to read a statement, please. Thank you, Madam Chair. Good morning, everyone. I recently sent a message about the potential negative budgetary impact on the college resulting from a dispute over the recent property valuations of two petrochemical properties in our area. Today I provide you with an update. While the property owners and the Nueces County Appraisal District made an effort to resolve the valuation dispute, the matter remains unresolved and we are anticipating a negative impact on our 2023-2024 budget. This will present a serious fiscal challenge for the college, but I want you to know that we are prepared to deal with it moving forward with our budget and tax, tax rate adoption process. It will require some collective belt tightening, but we will continue to maintain our high level of services and operations and keep moving forward and take care of our employees and students. Again, our focus will remain on the mission, our students, and the people and community we serve. I will be addressing this issue and how we plan to handle it in more detail in our upcoming meetings and convocation. Please make sure to attend for all employees. And we will be uh, calendaring shortly after this message to uh, talk about specifics on the dates that we plan to, to have uh, meetings to explain the, um, uh, further details. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Escamilla. So based on the information that we have today, uh, we are going forward with our budget process uh, based on the corrected certified tax rate, tax rolls, excuse me, uh, corrected certified tax rolls uh, as given to us by the tax assessor collector. Uh, the college is going to uh, have 
two upcoming uh, budget discussions. One will be on Tuesday, August 15th, at which we will look at scenarios now based on uh, what we know today, uh, and then look at potential public hearings and adoption on August 29th. We do have as an option to finish that budget process at our regularly scheduled meeting on September 12th. Um, so those are the two primary budget dates, but again, we do have that fallback date of September 12th if we need to, to move that far. Um, the college is gonna continue to explore and consider legal options um, as a result of uh, the information that we have today. Uh, and we, um, we, we hope that, that the parties involved could come to some um, agreement on this uh, so that we could avoid this negative impact on the college. Uh, but it appears that that is not the case today. So we'll, we're going to, to move forward with what we know today. Uh, given that, we'll look at calendaring. On August 15th, I think we are looking at a potential 9 a.m. start time for that budget workshop. Um, and Ms. Pettis will communicate with Dr. Turner and Mr. Kelly uh, regarding that time. And then on August 29th, I don't know if we had set a time for that meeting. Ms. Pettis, had we set a time yet on that one? We had typically do that public hearing around the noon hour, midday, yes, yeah, midday, so that um, folks that, that might want to um, be a part of that public comment have the opportunity to do so. Uh, so look at somewhere in that 11 to 1 to yes. 2 o'clock time frame, yes, and we will get that, again, calendared as well as soon as possible. The September 12th uh, date would be our regularly scheduled uh, Board of Regents meeting. Any questions on that? With no other business before us, uh, we are going to adjourn our meeting at 9.50 a.m.